we often use the wrong words when we talk about this crisis. We talk about climate change, and we talk about change. Change is inevitable. We have all these sayings in our, in our lexicon about what change is. It is a crisis, and it is on us, and we have seen it coming for decades without adequate action to change how we engage with fossil fuels and how we engage with land use and how we engage with a number of things that cause it. But the main driver is our energy systems. And when we build infrastructure, we lock in the energy we will use for decades. And so when, we look, when I look at these options here, we know they're not baked. They weren't designed to be baked at this point. That's the point of being in front of this council so that, so that our staff and our committee doesn't waste time on anything that the council is not really interested in seeing. And so um, this is a really good menu of a variety of different ways to get us to the point where we are no longer building new buildings with fossil fuels, so certainly new residential buildings. Um, it is absolutely critical that we figure this out. And we have those numbers, and I appreciated that, Chad, that you brought us the numbers for our, from our housing production strategy, but those are estimates that are backcasted. We already have housing that we know is coming towards us from these larger developments that is more than half of the expected growth in Ashland over the next 20 years. So this conversation is really important right now. And I am so pleased um, that our young people have come forward and I am so sad that you have had to because the adults who run this country should have handled this a long time ago. And I, it is my hope that this council goes forward with putting these on the menu. We know it's an equity issue because climate change is an equity issue. And a disrupted future is an expensive future. And if we are going to make sure that our low income people in this community can afford to live here, it is going to be because they are not chasing constant climate disruption without the adequate means to fund the changes that need to happen. And so we need absolutely to keep track of what those impacts are. I think it's a really important conversation. And we also need to remember that, un, um, that it is not possible to take care of our most um, vulnerable people in an era of runaway climate change. So thank you very much. Uh, I'm, I'm hopeful of where we're going with this this evening and, and glad that we are seeing it and having this conversation in front of the council.